Welcome to the Dragon Ship. This is Thor. I have something very special to all my fans out there. All the folks that ever heard anything that I've ever said, this is unique today. Today, I'm going to give you 100% free the best advice you will ever hear in your life. That's right. Today on the Dragon Ship, I am going to give you something that works 100% of the time and has the California stamp of approval on it. This advice, gentlemen, should save your life. It is entitled, When the Poon Dries Up, Follow These Simple Steps to Regain Poon Mastery Instantly. This is really intended for black pillar, non-Viking, scientifically proven by six double-blinded, deaf, avatar-hiding, leading internet experts and works 100% of the time and has the feminist California stamp of approval on approving your male life. Man, if you're stuck on the internet, if you're bitching about people for eight-hour streams, you're worried about homosexuality, fear not. This will resolve all of your issues that you're crying about. Very simple steps. Follow these steps. So, all of these steps will be geared towards women in your life. And when you follow the women in your life, you will be much happier. Trust me on this. You won't spend endless hours on the internet bitching and whining and complaining about all the poon you're not getting. And then whining about some other guy that's getting more poon than you. Gentlemen, too much poon hurts a man. It really does. Yes, yes, I admit, I've had my own poon addiction. However, following these steps, you can be saved. Here are the steps. Step number one, always say, I love you first to your woman. Women consider chasing men a bore. When a relationship progresses to a natural I love you point, the earlier the better. Just say it, guys. Most women don't don't hear within the first couple of months and will assume that you don't care and move on. The only way a woman can be happy is in knowing that her man loves her with all his heart and mind and soul. To score extra brownie points with your woman, really lay it on thick. A simple I love you will suffice, but a line like, my love for you is greater than any other love any entity has ever felt for another entity in the history of the entire universe is so golden you are the bestest ever that's what you need to do rule number one number two never so much as glance at another woman god damn it man this is so important don't you understand this if you happen to be in a situation where there is another woman around and this should only happen as infrequently as possible do not even acknowledge their existence. You will cling to your woman like a bloody scabbed over hemorrhoid clings to an ass hair. Don't let her out of your sights. And do not let other females into yours. If a woman approaches you, learn ways to avoid this. And, and even getting into a mundane conversation, no. If you do, God help you. Feign a bloody diarrhea attack and get out of there. Because if you get caught in such an act with a woman, your woman will become outrageously green with envy and dump you. And more importantly, she will withhold the poon. Number three, you shall make your woman your everything. That's right, man. Abandon every other thought. Some of the greatest love songs of all time have ascribed to this philosophy that a woman is to be the center of a man's existence. And you're absolutely correct. Your station in life, your artistic passions, your masculine libido, all nothing in comparison to the pedestal you're able to craft for your woman. She wants to be treated like a princess and your obligation, nay, your born desire and privilege to make that desire come to fruition. She is owned by this right, by a right of birth. That's right. You heard that right. It's her birthright for you to put her on that pedestal. Don't you get it, dummy? All of our culture, even our legal and political system is built around this one principal law of the universe. It's immutable. How could you possibly see it otherwise? Guys, swimming upstream, it's not cutting it. Get with the program. You'll be happy. Let's put it that way. 
and you'll be fulfilling your purpose. Number four, let the woman make all the rules, God damn it. In today's society, the woman's in charge. Don't even try to fight it. They've been working at this for 80 years. Let them do it. Don't try to fight it. Conformity is the path to peace. It is she who you must lean on in every matter. Once you recognize her innate ability to remain calm in any situation, face change with stoic indifference, and maintain the same personality day in, day out, no matter what, you'll understand it is only natural to let her direct the relationship. This is the best way to ride into sunset happily ever after together. And it will strengthen Western society, as you've already witnessed in the media and in social media. It's perfect. There's no need to censor anything. Just open your eyes. Look what's going on. It's completely out there. It's the truth. This is actually Oprah approved. And all media and social media endorses this principle that let women make the rules. So just be happy and let them make the rules and follow them like a good little boy. This will be much appreciated. And your attractiveness will be very much expanded. Five. Reciprocate everything and then do it even more until it hurts. That's right. Give your woman everything she gives you and then some. At least three to one principle. Don't leave a single deed unnoticed or unreciprocated. When she sends you a text, send her at least two. That's right, two. This makes her feel good and always operate under the assumption that her phone didn't get the message and send it again. This lets her how, know how much you care. It's a very simple math. When she says a sentence, respond with a paragraph. They love that. They want to read that paragraph. It's only us that think things are too long and we didn't read it. You know, a paragraph by the six month of a relationship, your entire essence should be imprinted into her soul. Your image should be scorched into her retinas. Your consistency ingrained into her hindbrain. A predictable man is a desired man. Number six, your relationship is one long interview, so play it right, gentlemen. Women want to know everything about you so they can make the proper decision on whether you have a long-term potential. Give them this information at all costs. Do not filter. Even when they don't ask for it, tell them everything. That's right, no filter, tell them everything. This is true vulnerability and super sexy panty wetting to a modern woman. You must be so vulnerable. Her panties will not only become wet and full, they will drop right off. Treat the courtship process the way you would a job interview, but try to avoid talking yourself up too much because girls don't like a braggart. If you can prove to her that you're the type of guy whose sole purpose on the planet is to make her happy, she will let you into her world with open arms forevermore. Nothing has to be worried about. She would never cheat on you. Critical, gentlemen especially in today's society. Number seven, your only option is your woman. The second you agree to go on a date with a girl, she becomes all of your options. Forget any and all other female companionship from that point forward forevermore. And once your relationship has blossomed into something long-term, you will be thankful that you have become fully dependent on one single woman for all of your romantic affection and steady supply of poon. Because this will be your trump card. If your relationship is ever on the rocks during these times, let her know unequivocally that you absolutely need her. Be so vulnerable and cry a lot with tears and huffing and snot coming out of your nose. She will become immediately attracted to you again by this show of vulnerability. In extreme situations, telling her things like, I don't think I could go on living without you. <laughs> that one's 100%. It works every damn time. Simple stuff, gentlemen. Follow this program. If you're stuck on the black pill, this will fix you 100%. You will be happy. Number eight. Adopt an apologize first mentality. If I'm talking to you men, unfortunately, we all have penises. That's right. We have a penis. This means we are, by nature, our Western cultural norms and collective feminist, toxic, despicable human being that we are, and we have to be sorry. 
Whatever you do, you're sorry. Apologizing your way through life is the quickest way to a woman's heart. Being immediately sorry for any perceived offense will reduce friction in every relationship as it brings about fewer arguments and less overall strife. <sighs> Females don't like drama. They don't bring it into your life, so don't bring it into theirs. And in the end, your woman will thank you for being a good little boy that has no big dick energy. She doesn't want that. Who does? You need to do what you're told. And that's a good boy. And you'll be rewarded. You'll be rewarded with poon. At least occasionally you will. And that's really all you need. Because you don't have big dick energy. Because you're following this program. Good for you. You were a reminder of her childhood dog. You know, remember the one that was neutered? Yeah, he was neutered. Ball's gone. What a great dog. And who didn't adore that dog? The neutered one, I mean. Right? She loved that dog. Be that dog. Number nine, connect with her logic. Hey, women are logical creatures. There's no fundamental difference between a man and a woman's brains. This has been proven through pseudoscientifically confirmed consensus of academia over and over again. I mean, come on, huh. over and over again by the pseudosciences. How could this be wrong? It's not. I mean, you're an idiot if you think anything different. We're the same, totally equal. The emotionally driven playfulness of youth had its place, but those days are gone. Look, you're both adults now, and the healthiest relationship of two adults can, can have is just one based on intellectual, logical connection. She wants to talk about how running around in the snow makes her feel like a little girl again. You discuss the great blizzard of 1988. She wants to play doctor. You meticulously muse over your achievements of Western medicine. She tells you she isn't attracted to you anymore. You demand a five to six page thesis paper on this with supporting evidence. Why is that the case? Odds are rational thinking will prevail and she'll be back in your arms again soon once she writes it and reads it. <sighs> 10. Look. Become in transpired beauty. This really helps. Your woman is the only attractive human being on this planet. You'd better start treating her as such. Allow yourself to melt before her beautiful face. This will prevent you from ever acting out. If you're ever away from her for more than four hours and are contemplating doing something of which she would not approve, just imagine her gorgeous face, her flawless body. She does have a positive body, right? And her incredible sexual prowess will make you think twice. Number 11. Look, don't believe in yourself. There's really no need. Women are turned off by toxic masculinity, confidence, and presence. They want to take you by the hand and lead you through life. Also, they like to acknowledge the fact that you are not exactly God's gift to women. So don't act like you are. You can't fool anyone. Adopt a philosophy of pure rationalism. Gentlemen, you are not Chris Hemsworth. Only Chris Hemsworth is Chris Hemsworth. And you will never be. Accept it and make sure your girl knows you've come to terms with it. You're most likely an average run-of-the-mill loser anyway. That's fallen into the loser hole. Hey, it's okay. Lots of losers down there. Recognizing that you are who you are. And it, change is virtually impossible. You cannot change looks. You cannot change station. You cannot change money. There is nothing that you can do. Look, women will be flocking to you like moth to a flame as soon as you recognize this. So don't believe in yourself. It's ridiculous. Number 12. Forget what you're good at. This follows the last one. Keep a woman focused on your weaknesses. Vulnerability is in. Be that guy. Listen, Oprah says that vulnerable men are attractive. By God, they are. Think about it. You may be able to sing to her like Josh Groden or dance her socks off and maybe even the rest of her clothes off. But deep down, displaying the talents of a girl is the fastest way to make her feel inadequate to you. And in turn, it will make her leave you. Become the jack of all trades. Try new things to the point of exhaustion. And the less likely you are to succeed, the better. This is not this is not failure. It is sexy vulnerability. This is what all modern psychologists recommend. 
Why would they be wrong? They're not. They're actually right. When her expectations are lowered, you never have to worry about disappointing her again. It is in this atmosphere a true relationship can flourish beyond belief. Number 13. Don't ever pursue what you want physically. Yes, you've heard that again in an era of body positivity, which is so fantastic and euphoric. When she is ready to up the ante, she will always make the first move. Wait for her to make the move on you. That's right. Don't be aggressive. Don't pursue. Women don't like this. It's ridiculous. In an equal society such as we live in, let them make the first move. A woman is a delicate snowflake. One wrong touch and she'll be lost forever. If you have trouble following this rule, try to imagine her dad sitting on the other side of her at all times. This should induce enough guilt to cause you to refrain from making any sort of ill-advised, toxically masculine, confident, hormonal-based move on her. And this is the way it should be. Now, 14. This is important. Listen carefully. Fuck her decent no more than the minimum necessary contrary to popular belief sex is the least important aspect of a modern relationship pseudoscience supports this fact inequivocally if you must spend time engaging in such masculine neanderthal activity fuck her like it's your first fuck hey and plus one if it actually is the last thing she wants to feel in bed is inadequate stemming from knowing that the person she is with has more experience than her and most likely don't anyway so there you go and she knows as well as you do that there are thousands of better things to spend your time on than copulation minimal effort should be spent on sex your enemies should be focused on more important matters such as deciding which jewelry your energy should be focused on more important matters such as deciding which jewelry store you should go to next to buy her diamond earrings Fifteen. Maintain no control. You're an oak leaf. When she cries, so do you. You're not the oak tree. When she yells, apologize profusely. You may have done something. When she withdraws from you sexually, beg. You can't get a hold of her. Leave multiple voicemail messages. Send her at least ten texts. Remember the double-digit rule. Three times to one. Consider contacting one of her close family members if you haven't heard from her in the in the last eight hours. Chaos is the natural order of things. Learn to roll with it. 16. This is the final step that will complete your life in all matters and make you the man you need to be in today's society. This is the cure to MGTOW and the black pill. And most certainly... Most men on Twitch follow this. Listen carefully. Let the fear of losing her be your guide in all matters in life. Your fear of losing her must be akin to the fear of God's wrath, keeping you out of hell and eternal burnings. Fear and love go hand in hand, coming to grips with your relationship, almost certain mortality, totally certain if you don't follow these commandments you're going to die is the best way to keep you in check one you love her with all that you have and learn to fear her and her leaving even more than that and always remember if she says she's going to leave tell her i cannot live without you men this is so important it is complete my work is done as a coach as a demigod in your life, this is Thor teaching you the way to be a non-Viking and live in modern society. Until next time, this is the Dragon Ship.